Welcome back to another video here from Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon. Today's video, I just want to show you guys something that I've been thinking about and uh, it's about a topic about uh, hard-working people because if you're a tourist and you come here you probably will have the impression of Vietnamese people that they are very hard-working. This is a paradox because it's both uh, true and not true depending on what kind of workers we are talking about. Street workers like that lady to the left, I don't know if you saw her, they are really hard-working guys. I will tell you a little bit more about working hard in Vietnam later but now I'm gonna show you guys a lady that I've uh, met before. So there's a lady over here that sells a uh, kind of pastry, a kind of cake. I visited her one month ago before I went to Cambodia and I helped her out a little bit but I didn't make a video about it. So I thought I want to show you guys her because she was very nice and actually her cake was not that bad because she's out in the heat all day guys. She's working like 12 hours per day and it's hard to judge her age based on the, because she, she wears the hat and the mask, but I reckon she's at least 50, 60. So let's see if she's here today as well, guys, and we can just talk to her and maybe help her out a little bit just to, uh, yeah, do today's good deed. Oh, yeah, here she is. This guy is buying a cake. Yeah, so here she is, guys. I can show you. She's selling the cake here, guys. So I'm just gonna talk to her a little bit, help her out. Oh, he forgot his change. Or something. Oh yeah, he bought a lot. I don't know how many, but he bought many, guys. Cô nhớ cháu không? Một tháng trước cháu mua bán của cô ấy. Và có phải là cô quê ở Hải Dương không ạ? À đúng rồi. À đúng rồi. Thế vâng vâng. Cháu mua trên mạng nhé. À vâng vâng. À, thế thì uh, hôm nay cháu xin uh, hài bánh Dạo này cô thế nào rồi? Vẫn à, tốt chứ? Bình thường Bình thường à? Ừ. Nhưng mà cô vẫn làm uh, từ uh, 6 giờ sáng đến uh, 6 giờ tối đúng không? Yeah, just gonna help her out a little bit guys Cháu gửi nhé à, à, Chào cô nhé Chào cô nhé Vâng, vâng, vâng Hả? Vâng, 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 chào cô nhé, okay, gặp sau Vâng, gặp sau, nhưng mà cô bán, nhà nào cô bán đúng không? Vâng, thế nhà cô ở đâu ạ? À? Nhà cô... Gần đây ạ? À? à, vâng, ok, vâng, chào cô ạ Yeah, usually people are asking if I uh, drive the Grab <laughs> because I wear this Grab uh, jacket, guys, because I bought it online. I don't want to like talk too much, but it was nice to see that there was one guy buying cakes from her before me and then right when I left, there were two other people. So that, that's very nice to see that she has some business going. Yeah, speaking of the topic of hardworking people here in Vietnam, that's why I kind of wanted to make the video because I think she's uh, she represents one of those people who are very hardworking here in Vietnam because she's out the whole day. She is uh, like born in the south, but her parents are from the north of Vietnam. The last time I gave her 100k as well, but I didn't make a video, so I thought I gave her uh, 100k today as well. It's about like five dollars, so it, it's not that much, but I rather give a little bit several times and just uh, give her uh, a, a big amount uh, at, for one time you know but it's just nice to help her out a little bit because I do respect all these hard-working uh, street vendors because most of the time they are uh, women in most cases in most cases they are women so uh, I feel very kind of bad for them because it's really hot outside and uh, I just asked her again if she um, she's working the same hours like from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and she said yes 
yes, it's a long days there on the just sitting by the road and all the pollution as well, the fumes from all the bikes that, that cannot be good for you. So, you know, I, I just hope that if uh, I help her out a little bit, I can. Uh, <laughs> did you see the feet? Because one one cake is two thousand five hundred guys. So I bought two, so it would be five thousand only. If you're uh, just visiting here, you will see a lot of street vendors, and they are mostly older women. So of course they are hardworking. But if you're in the more business uh, sphere here in Vietnam, like you actually uh, see how people, young people, work in offices, uh, they are not. I wouldn't say they are hardworking. So it's a it's a paradox. You have a lot of very hard-working people out on the street and who do the physical jobs but from my experience here the the people the people especially the young people who work in offices and they have good salaries compared to her they are not hard-working like ba based on my experience compared to other countries even Australia where uh, I thought the people were not as hard-working as in Scandinavia for example all right, we just take right here because it's so hot there guys a lot of traffic yeah like for example this lady here she sells uh, like fruit mango I think and some other stuff so it's a paradox guys because you see a lot of hardworking people but then when you're uh, I don't think you necessarily have to uh, have a business here to understand that you can also see many times in the restaurants and they're like a basical like uh, uh, attitude you can see it in a lot of places they just like many restaurants that have like so many workers but the service is not like this so that's why I at least want to uh, help out the hardworking people like that lady for example I want to try her cake you can come to uh, the end of uh, like Kek uh, Tank Dam Street uh, where the big roundabout is there's like a kebab shop called Jumbo Kebab because in the south it's called uh, that's why I was a little bit confused at first because uh, it's called uh, Bang Cam Cam means uh, orange but I was like I asked her the last time is there orange in here but she said no that's just a name in the south so it's basically a fried kind of like mochi and it's white sesame seeds and inside I remember last time it was very good because it's not too sweet but the yellow thing you see there it's uh, the dok sang the mung bean so it's like a mung bean paste I will have a bite later when I get home it's just a lovely day today as well guys because it's a rainy season usually in the early hours like now it's almost lunchtime but it's uh, you can do outdoor activities in the early hours because usually um, the rain falls in the afternoon here. You guys can comment down below if you have experienced anything about uh, the hardworking people here and the not so hardworking people here because like I said it's a paradox. It really depends where you are, who's hardworking. But I respect these people because they are out in the sun the whole day and stuff like that. But uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next video.